<laughs> Howdy and welcome on back to the channel everybody. I hope you're ready to go riding because today we are hunting off of an e-bike. So I've been looking at getting an electric bike ever since I got my camper because I can take both of those things at the same time. I can't take my ATV and my camper both. So having an electric bike to throw in the truck is really useful if I'm just going on a trip by myself to the deer lease or going hunting solo somewhere. So I just got this full off-road suspension, deep woods ready e-bike that I've been dying to take to the lease to go after some schnooters, those little pests we have out there, and then also scouting for bucks and just see how the animals react to having a quiet bike you know, instead of having the loud ATV. But before we get into the woods, I have to remind you guys about the summer sweepstakes giveaway that I'm doing with Cellmark with everything from Guggen base to thermal imaging binoculars, IR scopes. You're gonna see me use this stuff in tonight's video. Uh, if you're an outdoorsman, you gotta get signed up for this stuff if you love hunting and fishing. So I got a link in the description, go get signed up. There's only a week left. So go do it right now, go check it out, get signed up. And now, let's go pedaling for piggies. All right, y'all, I know it's pretty loud in here. Got a godsend. 30 amp power out of the deer lease. I found an old plug buried in the grass. We got the AC working in the Opus, so we are good to go. So base camp's all set up. Sun is going down right now, and uh, the feeders are going off out here at night, basically right after sunset, about nine o'clock. So it's kind of geared towards pigs right now. A lot of bucks are nocturnal anyways but uh, we're gonna go see if we can get on one of these hogs with the e-bike. So we're gonna take the Baku on some of these back roads. Going with the 6.8 tonight, and I just barely had enough time to throw the Wraith on there and get it sighted in somewhat. It's shooting a little bit of high, but I'm just gonna keep that in mind. So I think we're good to go. I'm gonna hop on the bike. As always, night footage is tough, but we do have the thermals. Uh, rocking some of the, the gear that I got from the Hunter Games with, uh, I've got the Pulsar Accolade 2s in there. Let's head out to the bike and let's get on the trails and let's see if these hogs are coming to the feeders at night. Okay, I'm off the side of a road right now. And there's a feeder right back in here. So we're gonna slide back in there and uh, see if these hogs come out. We got 15 minutes till that feeder goes off. So it's time to flip the switch and go night mode. Let's go. Well guys, I guess tonight is just not my night.
It's a new day. Last night I spotted a bunch of pigs, but they were across the river where I couldn't get to them. So this morning we're just gonna do a cruise with the bike and just see what we can see. What I found interesting last night was that I could see white-tailed deer. Like I could get really close to them, even with the light on sometimes, just because it's a new, uh, you know, they're not used to hearing this. You can hear the bike pedals and some of the gears and stuff, but there's really not that much sound coming from it. So it's just, uh, it's sneaky. So I'm hoping the same thing's gonna happen with hogs. But we're just gonna cruise the entire place for most of it and uh, see if we can get any daytime activity. It's kind of cool that you can use the bike as cover. I need to get me like a uh, a little camo tarp or some like uh, some mesh, some camo mesh to put on this thing. Just keep it one of the saddlebags. That's pretty cool. I'm only like 70 yards from these deer. I'm almost in bow range from them. A lot of deer in this area from what I've seen last night and today. And uh, it's like right in the center of the property. I think this is going to be a great spot to get one this year. I just saw some red fur at one of my favorite feeders. So I think it's going to be a decent buck in velvet. I'm going to try to sneak up here and see it.
made I snuck up that close to that pig with the bike. This pig's still kicking a little bit. It's right back in here. There might actually be a few more around, so I'm gonna be pretty careful. But um, what a great little pig. Make sure we got a sow. Yeah, that's a sow. She came out because she was curious. I thought it was gonna be like a bigger boar that was gonna come out. That was checking me. Uh, Cause there was a little herd when I came up around the feeder and they ran off. But this is one of those pigs. I was able to just sneak in with the bike real quick on them. And um, that's crazy. Cause normally when I'm on foot with these pigs, you know, I'll, I'll spook them off or they're just so they're just so quick they'll get away from me on foot perfect eater pig too so i think what i'm gonna do is uh <clears throat> throw this pig on the bike and then take it back to camp and get it processed this pig is not too heavy also it's gonna be an easy job just sticking it on the bike the bike actually has a frame back here Got my cushion on it right now. I guess I could probably finagle the straps and strap them down, but you know, just use some rope or some straps. And I've got a uh, a little crate that's coming that just goes behind the bike, and that way you can just load your deer, or load your extra gear, or whatever in it. But tires are still alive. <laughs> Surprisingly, I was expecting uh, some flats out here, but I already put a little sealant to go in it. So just a little precautionary deal. Okay, looks good. Should be able to get the pig loaded up just fine. A little extra bacon on my rear end here though. <sighs> Hang on back there Porky. This actually worked out perfect because I don't know what I would do if I killed like a 200 pounder. <laughs> You might be wondering, you know, how does the bike ride with a pig on the back of it? And it's probably like a 40 pound pig, I would say, maybe 50. Um, I almost don't even feel it because the motor is just helping me to, uh, to pedal. So the bike itself is pretty heavy. I've pedaled it a few times without uh, the assisted gears kicking in but uh it can be pretty tough so you gonna stay back I, th I think our pig's gonna fall i think our pig's not fully secure filler filler feet kind of slipping from my rear she's losing touch with me i'll readjust her here but rides really good i'm interested to see how a basket would do on this thing but just blown away that that just happened crank up the power right here this thing goes up to power of five we go with that four low gear you got to keep it in that low gear too when you're climbing hills but here we go let's get it Now some other work begins. All right, get this piggy unloaded. Actually rode really well. 
I was impressed uh, that I had a little rubbing on the tire from the old ear, but overall, really good. That's not how these uh, <laughs> bags are intended to be used, but it worked out pretty good. And luckily we just had a, a nice manageable pig. Good, clean, ethical shot and did not ruin any of the meat. So that's perfect. I have my Opus right over here. I'm gonna take you guys over there in just a second after I'm done with this. But my, uh, my Dometic cooler freezer is in there. And what I'm gonna do, since I don't have a regular cooler with me with ice, is I'm just gonna take this basket that came out of that and I'm just gonna place the meat in there uh, I'm not going to do do it whole like I did, uh, or uh, mostly whole like I did last time. Uh, I'm going to take out the, the loins and the straps. Uh, maybe the ribs, there's probably not much on them. The hams, of course. Uh, just put them in here, and then I'm going to place them in that Dometic. And um, I'm actually going to try aging that meat a little bit when I get home, transferring it to another little fridge that I have. <laughs> tail okay we got the rest of our meat processed got straps got another ham little tendies we are good to go let's take it back to the camper it's time to charge the the e-bike so let me show you the, the crib. I've uh, basically got it rigged out for hunting right now. So I've got everything charging in here and uh, I've got all my hunting supplies ready to go. So let's get a, let's get a tear. Well, that's a vacuum and I got a tarp and some stuff in there. I actually use that little vacuum a lot. It's my little, it's my little dirt getter. Come in here, give a, give a little clean sweep. You know, who says deer camp needs to be totally dirty? Go drawer down, we got trail cameras, got a little some solar panels, some accessories and stuff, ammunition, lower drawer, little snack bars, come in here, get you a little snack bar before you head out to the blind or jump on the bike or the ATV and go riding around. I've got the Baku charging up right now. Uh, I'm going to say it takes like five or six hours to get a full charge. Um, but I was about 40% down from a day and a half riding, so should be, should be back up and running here in about three hours or so. And over here in the bedroom, I just like sleeping in this lower level, y'all. This bed is actually really big. It looks small, but it goes back there a long ways. You feel nice and comfortable in there, all, all tucked in. And just got a little fleece blanket with a little sheet, two pillows, nice and comfy. And then up top, we got uh, some extra hunting clothes. I've got uh, a couple of ARs. I did. I brought that 6.8 uh, with me, and I've I've also got a 5.56 and a 308 and my 17 HMR. You know, in case things need to get western. And the rest of the drawers over here. We've just got extras. Got some socks and undies, just in case. Got the uh, hog sniper. Um, that was actually the infrared light case that I just showed you. And we got just extra optics. We've got binos, got the thermals in there. And just some extra clothes up top. And I got some movies, y'all. Saving Silverman. That baby right there. Just a classic comedy. Love to see it. Pig is in the Dometic right now. So I've got it quartered up. I've got the uh, refrigerator set at 38 degrees. It's actually already some ice forming on it but I've got that in the some other parts in the in the deep part of the Dometic so the hunt was successful today y'all got a perfect sow and let's talk about the bike and let's talk about hunting with these things so the biggest thing I've noticed about hunting on a bike so far versus an ATV is the animals are not used to even what this looks like and how it ended up playing out is I turned into this little road that had a feeder at the end of it and the hogs they they saw something coming but they didn't really scoot off they just kind of trotted off um, and they weren't 
you know, really booking it like they normally do. If, uh, if I stalk on them and they smell me or if uh, I'm in the ATV, they hear it and they just boom, they're, they're on a dead sprint. And so what I did was I just, I just followed their direction. My wind was good and I was able to sneak back into these little cedars where some of them went. And one of them actually turned around and was curious about the bike, I think. I think that's what was going on. Couldn't smell me and just started you know grunting sniffing and all that and i actually ended up just parking the bike staying still i could hear the grunt uh, I pulled the rifle off and i set the rifle on the tire and used that as a rest so i just came over here and sat like this on the ground and then just used that front tire as a shooting rest and that's the other biggest thing that, that I've that I really like about being on the bike is uh, you know not not pedaling hard just like a medium easy speed and then listening and watching off to the sides whereas on an ATV you can't hear you know it's, it's awesome you can load it down with everything um, but usually you're not even paying attention to what's on the sides uh, you're just look, looking out in front of you because you can't hear anything and you're going by so fast. But with this, just medium speed, looking off to the side and then listening, I was able to notice deer that were off in the bushes that were moving and then they just stop and I could you know, get a look at them. Uh, just stuff like that and then being able to hear, you might notice, notice some things, being able to hear that you could go make a stock on that you wouldn't in the ATV. So yeah, the bike weight, I'm gonna say it's, it's about 50 pounds or so. I, I'm spitballing. Uh, it could be lighter than that, but once you add the battery and, and all the gear, it gets pretty heavy. You do have to learn how to ride it a little bit. The, the first time I hopped on one of these uh, with Born and Raised guys, basically just going straight uphill, me and my buddy uh, with packs on and everything, um, they told us we have you know a, basically a gas pedal over here on the side, a throttle. Uh, so we just you know throttle it in high gear. Uh, there's so much torque on these things. We busted chains or my buddy busted a chain on his and uh, we just had to park them and, and hike uh, up to our elk, elk camp spot but um, you do have to gear down as you're going up hills and really use that throttle when um, you're on more flat areas or you can use it going uphill just make sure you're in low gear because it's so much torque it can it can damage the uh, the chain or, or the gears if you put too much torque on it. So there's a bunch of brands popping up of e-bikes uh, for you know street bikes and off-road bikes and stuff like that. Uh, the reason I bought one of these Bakus is because they are a, a really a hunting based company. They're from out west mountain hunting where it's pretty daggum tough terrain so uh, they do a lot of serious testing on the bikes. They are high quality. I uh, love all the accessories too. Accessories are great. This thing is freaking awesome. Gator, uh, gator grip, gator grip. So even if you guys have like a, an uh, ATV four wheeler, uh, I would highly suggest getting one of these right here. It, it will hold your bow or your rifle extremely solid. And I also have a fishing pole holder. So we're gonna be doing some pond hopping. One more thing I know you guys are gonna be asking about is how far can you go on one of these things? And it's about 30 miles, I'm told, if you're in uh, one of the low power modes and you're using the pedals, so you've got that assisted power. If you're going just straight throttle, I, I don't know. It might be half that, it might be a third that, could be 20 miles, uh, I really don't know. I haven't tested that, but uh, I've ridden around this lease here, it's about 2,500 acres. I've gone around the outer perimeter you know, and I rode last night and today and got down to about 40% charge. And that was probably seven or eight, maybe maybe even nine miles, something like that. So it'll go a pretty good ways. Overall, I think the e-bike is just an awesome tool. I love the fact that I can uh, carry the camper with me and then just throw this bike in the back of my truck and I've got my mode of transportation. I don't have to, uh, well, I can't. I can't carry my ATV and the camper at the same time and I think this is probably gonna become more popular with a lot of the you know, Texas hog hunters, uh, ranch owners, lease, uh, leasers like myself that like to do hog hunting, hog stalking, and you can also get a feel for whitetail 
as well. Um, and it, I think over time, we're just going to see everything go electric, you know, electric ATVs. Uh, you'll get the same aspects of this with uh, being on that, that four wheels. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool as we see the advancement of all that. But this is, this is great. You just throw it in the truck, you know, carry my camper with me. It's light, it's easy, it's great. It's great for solo missions and I think uh, mountain, for mountain hunters, there's really nothing better. That is going to do it for today's video, y'all. Thank you for hanging with me in the woods. If you enjoyed watching some of that action, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe right here to the channel. If any of y'all are curious about the Bakbu bikes, I'll leave a link down in the description. And don't forget to get signed up for the huge hunting and fishing giveaway. Also linked down below. God bless and Godspeed in the great outdoors. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.